Hello, welcome to YQ Academy for another session of our Java course. In this session, we are going to discuss about the encapsulation in Java. So let's start with the real world example. Let's take the example of a car. The most important part of the car is the engine of the car. So engine is actually is wrapped in a unit and is not displayed to the user of the car. The person who is on the driving seat is unable to see the engine while driving the car. But yes, engine is usable by the uh, driver by a method which is called acceleration. But this is exactly the encapsulation that hide a thing and give its usability to the user. And this is also used to achieve security. Okay, so let's discuss the uh, encapsulation in Java. Java in Java encapsulation is actually a process of wrapping the data and its methods or the code that's apply on the specific data in a single unit. So there are two steps how we can achieve the encapsulation. Okay, so step one is make all attributes of a class private. Second, second step is to make the setters and getters of the attributes, private attributes actually. private attributes let's do this is an employee class let's make an public employee class let's make the uh, let's make an attribute of the employee class which will be private integer employee id So you guys need to understand that what is mean by this private here. So let me give you an example. So let's say this is our employee class. And outside this is the outer world of the employee class. Here I have ID which is private okay so the private means this attribute is private of this employee class it means that it is only accessible by the members of this employee class and for outside world this thing or this amp id attribute is inaccessible or the outer world the outer world classes for example if there is a class any class uh, bank class let's say this is a bank is a separate class employee is a separate class if amp id of employee class is private it means that bank class is not able to use the amp id so that is the mean of the private keyword here a private keyword is used to achieve security or is used to achieve the encapsulation. So let's move forward. Here we need to make the setter of the amp ID. Public void is actually a method which is which will which we will use to set the value of the empire because it's private 
but we can we are making a public method which is called set amp id where we will pass an uh, parameter to the function and this value will eventually assign to the amp id which is inside the doic class so this method is called the setter of the MBD. The same way we need to make here the getter method. So getter method is used to this view this view the value of MBD or display the value of MBD to the outer world of the employee class. So let me make this. getter void this void data type is used with this header because it is not returning anything but yes getter will not be the void because it is returning something it is returning the integer value because mpy is the integer integer get mpy no parameter just return is amp id okay so inside the amp id we successfully achieve the encapsulation with the amp id private attribute so let's use this you also need a constructor here We can initialize amp id anything let's say zero so let's test this thing in the main let's make loy go to new So if so this is a variable employee of class employee so let's check what is accessible okay so it is showing amp id get amp id set amp id but amp id is private that's why it will give us the error let's display the amp id So set not set get get amp id and yes print the id so you guys can see this zero value so by getter we can get the value of the amp id in the same way we can set the value of amp id by using the setter let's say let's set 101 then if we'll again get this As you can see, um, so it is it is first printing the zero and then one zero one. Well, let me just remove this. Let's check. So this is one zero one. The updated. So the crux of this lecture is we can achieve the encapsulation using the private keyword with the attribute, and then. We need to implement the 
getters and setter methods of these private attribute so that the actual encapsulation can be achieved so that was all for today's lecture and for this session and we'll continue the further discussion in next session